Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Sotirios Liaskos. Uh, I'm a, an associate professor with the School of Information Technology, and I'm very happy to be here to talk to you about the Bachelor of Science in Financial Technologies, a new program that the School of Financial, uh, the School of Information Technologies, is uh, uh, offering starting next uh, fall. The program is aimed at training the next generation of information technology experts with a particular specialization on how information technology applies to the financial uh, sector, sorry. Before uh, talking about the program, I would like to present uh, the context that makes this program extremely relevant today and at, at this particular place. I would particularly like to offer some facts and statistics that show why specializing financial technology is pertinent these days and why the greater Toronto area uh, is the best context in North America uh, to study financial technologies. So as you can see here, some very simple uh, facts that you can uh, find very easily. So the largest largest uh, GDP, uh, that's gross domestic product contributed in Toronto, uh, the second largest in Ontario, the third largest in Canada is the financial sector. In Toronto specifically, Toronto is the largest financial center in North America and the third largest globally in terms of financial services employment. Right. The second largest financial hub behind uh, New York in North America again. And then in terms of uh, fintech, uh, it is considered to be the eighth globally. Toronto is also home to 37% of Canada's finance and insurance jobs. If we want to talk about Ontario, 11% of the salaried workforce in Ontario is employed within the finance and insurance domain. And three quarters of these people uh, are in Toronto. There are 70,000 plus financial services firms uh, in, um, in Ontario, and more than uh, 750 of them are pure financial technologies firms. And uh, you'll, I'll explain you in a while what financial technology, what the financial technology firm does. Overall in Canada, we have $1.3 billion in fintech investment in 2022. So these are facts. What are these facts telling us? They tell us that uh, financial services is a heavy industry for Canada and Ontario, and uh, that there is a lot of demand for people to work in this uh, industry. So then what is the big question here? And what is also the big opportunity? So the reality is the financial sector today is an information technology sector uh, with most of its functions heavily dependent on information and computational technologies. And we know this from our daily experience. The next time we swipe a credit card to buy something, send family, uh, send money, sorry, to family and friends abroad, uh, buy something online, we're always exposed to financial technologies. And this is a, at the retail level, that is what uh, common people like you and me um, do that makes use of financial technologies. But within the financial institutions as well, which are things that we do not see, we have things like uh, lending decisions that are made, by processes for detecting fraud, um, trading uh, uh, of financial and management of financial assets, um, uh, risk management and evaluation, administration of payments, all these things heavily rely on computational technologies. So with the financial sector so much reliant on information technologies, there's a great need for technology experts who are also very well versed with the uh, financial domain. That is, they understand the language of finance. With this context in mind, we introduce the Bachelor of Science in Financial Technologies. The goal of the program, like we said, is to prepare students for technology-intensive jobs in the financial sector. These are um, highly technical, technically proficient professionals that understand very well the financial domain, its structure, its functions, its tools, its institutions, and of course, its language. How, uh, what are their concepts? Uh, that are the basic concepts of financial uh, in the financial domain and how uh, they are used. Uh, the program has a very strong technical orientation with an emphasis on math software and quantitative skills. And students are expected to invest effort in developing technical skills that we will feel are much in demand in the area. Having developed strong technical skills, graduates are able to assume a variety of roles in the industry that require various mixes of finance and technology literacy. The program also focuses on workplace readiness, and it does so through its internship and in-class experiential components. And you can see here on the right, uh, three of the main learning uh, main learning outcomes uh, of the program. Um, that is what we're trying to, after you graduate, 
uh, what are um, the skills that you will have acquired. This is what the learning outcomes uh, describe. And there are more, more than what you, would, you, what you saw in that uh, slide. And in terms of courses, the program consists of four groups of courses. Many of the courses are really information and computational technology uh, courses. For example, you have introduction to programming um, and uh, more advanced programming, data structures, cloud computing. Um, database courses, machine learning, of course, in finance, um, both a basic and an advanced one, um, security, obviously, uh, but also financial technology, uh, excuse me, uh, financial cryptography, as well as quality assurance, which is very important because financial systems are highly, supposed to be highly high assurance systems. There is uh, your mathematics courses that uh, are there to build foundational skills in both finance and uh, information technology. You have applied calculus, statistics, you see here, mathematical theory of interest. And then there is uh, there are courses of finance and economics, starting from micro and macroeconomics the first year, financial accounting, obviously, models of financial economics finance, and there are two versions of finance, uh, with one being more quantitative than the other, and of course, more advanced finance uh, finance courses. But very importantly, and this is what makes this program stand out, is the, the what we call the integrated courses. That is courses that show how technology applies in the, uh, in the financial uh, uh, domain. And this is important uh, in a sense that, you know, elsewhere you may, go and take a double major, for example, where you, you, you take a major in computer science and a major in finance. Um, that's good enough, but it, you just get exposure to two domains, but you don't get uh, exposure to how the two domains integrate. Here we offer those courses that show you exactly how technology uh, is applied to the financial domain. And we have several courses for that. Uh, introduction to financial services and technologies, cases in financial technologies, uh, many project courses, cryptocurrencies and payment systems, uh, engineering financial software, and so on. So these are important courses that uh, uh, really make this program different from just a double major. Here's how uh, you progress from the first year to the fourth. Uh, you know, in the first year, probably get uh, many of your gen eds in your science labs. Remember this is a Bachelor of Science, so you have to take your science labs. But you also take microeconomics and macroeconomics. And of course, you start building your mathematical background and your programming background. This continues in the second year, again, gen eds and math. Now you're going to take some uh, finance courses, including uh, accounting, intermediate product programming. So we build these programming skills, you know, and start taking integrated courses. And then from the third year, uh, we go deeper into the technology and finance. For example, in technology, we studied networks, security, the data management and AI. Uh, more advanced topics in finance, uh, more integrated courses. Then the fourth year is basically uh, courses that are quite specialized, for example, financial cryptography. Keep in mind that there is uh, an internship that I will tell you about uh, starting from the middle of the third year and ending somewhere in the middle of the fourth year. And of course, a capstone uh, project uh, that is uh, towards the end of your studies. Uh, Notice that uh, also the program uh, allows you to take several credits of electives and credits outside the major, and these are the uh, uh, marked uh, as bold here. We have designed uh, three ways by which you can make strategic choices for those credits so that you can acquire a specialization additional to that of uh, financial technologies. So these areas are entrepreneurship and innovation, cloud computing and cybersecurity. For example, you can take four entrepreneurship courses, one of which is an elective in the FinTech program. And that's that's how you, um, you get that specialization. And then again, keeping in mind that this is an informal specialization, it's more like a concentration of courses that uh, help you build a skill. Um, the internet security course opens the possibility or for more uh, courses in, um, in the area of security and so on and so forth for also cloud computing. And all these three uh, learning paths are invaluable for a career in the financial technology sector, cybersecurity, entrepreneurship, and cloud computing. These are pretty important um, skill sets to have. So we're very happy we're able to accommodate them in this uh, otherwise um, uh, quite tight program. Like we said, the program also features an internship component. Students who reach the third year of their studies and have a good academic record are eligible to join the technology internship program. This is a placement to a company that can last three, four, six, 12, or even more months. 
and companies will include major Canadian banks and other financial institutions. And of course, this is a great way to get real world experience, try your hand with different, uh, your hand in different uh, roles, professional roles, and obviously uh, build your professional network that will be um, valuable in terms of you finding um, a full-time uh, job after you graduate. So when you graduate, what will you do? The program prepares, prepares you for the two main domains in which technology applies in finance. One is the engineering of financial information systems. And here we can think of the highly complex financial software that, for example, banks or other financial institutions have. And a big part of it is uh, various payment systems, technologies with which various institutions and individuals transact uh, uh, value. And this includes uh, you know, an important application that sooner or later will become very relevant in modern societies, which is digital currencies. And here, of course, you may have, we have here the whole, the whole world of uh, technologies that are implemented in a distributed fashion. Uh, and this is the realm of blockchain, as you may have shared, and distributed ledgers uh, that are made mainly developed in startup ecosystems rather than in mainstream institutions. So if you work on blockchain, it's still the ledgers, more likely you work in a startup or a smaller company. The other opportunity, so that's the first opportunity, the other opportunity is uh, the use of technology for financial decision making. And that involves data analysis and AI techniques to utilize data for making optimal decisions in the face of risk, right? Um, and you can see on the screen some uh, example positions, position descriptions that may uh, may assume these kinds of responsibilities. And obviously the program is aimed at helping you become those things and get the skills that you need for that. Before I conclude, I want to point out the interesting similarity of finance and information technology in, uh, that both domains are both are both only limited by human imagination and creativity. I mean, few people in either field in either field who have predicted 50 years ago how these domains domains would evolve uh, to what they are today. And likewise, it is difficult to know now what will be relevant and important in five, let alone in 50 years from now. So the ability to not only cope with change but uh, to innovate and bring about the change will always be key in those areas. And the approach that we take in this program is to first invest in a strong technical and mathematical skill set that will allow you to have clarity in your vision uh, by instantly knowing what is feasible and promising and what can be um, achieved realistically. But also to become familiar, familiar with a broad range of application areas from risk management to banking, to trading, to portfolio management, to payments, that will allow you to quickly adapt to changing requirements and uh, roles. And with this, I would like to thank you for your attention and uh, looking forward to seeing you in class.